As seems to be the current modus operandi, migrants threw stones at the Polish services, and makeshift platforms were placed on the temporary fences to help them get to Polish territory. The attack was supported, of course, by Belarusian officers. The migrants at this point tried to blind us with lasers and flashlights, but this attempt was thwarted. A few hours later, however, another attempt of this sort took place near the border post in Mielnik. There, a group of around 40 individuals tried to enter Polish territory. The Belarusian services are constantly provoking Polish officials. In addition to numerous attempts to blind them with laser beams and strobe lights, they also want to affect the Polish soldiers psychologically. From audio equipment, they're broadcasting screams of children, the sobbing of children and women. There are also cases where we encounter sounds of gunshots, and they're most likely blanks. But so our soldiers really have to be ready for anything. Every soldier who gets ready to travel to the border is briefed on all the kinds of situations they may encounter there, and also about the attempts to influence the morale of our soldiers, as that is the goal of the actions of these psychological operations groups. Some migrants now admit that they've realized that they've become tools in a hybrid war. He doesn't see a man in front of him. He sees 3,000 euros. When he looks at me, he sees money, not someone looking to find safe haven. We've become elements of trade. We hear lies all the time. Uh, we can die at any moment. In the end, they tell us that they're not responsible for us. All they want is our money. According to experts, the migrants are being used to achieve current political goals and manipulations by the Belarusian media that blame Poland for causing the crisis on the border show the world what the regime of Alexander Lukashenko is capable of. No. Women and children are pushed in front of our soldiers, and this looks very effective in front of the cameras. Therefore, it's very much in our interest, in the interest of our country at this moment, to be as transparent as possible, so that nobody could accuse us of being inhumane or cruel, but that we're simply trying to defend ourselves. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, in the face of the ongoing hybrid attack on Poland and the movements of Russian troops on the border border with Ukraine has made demands on Alexander Lukashenko. Our position is clear. We call on the Lukashenko regime to end the crackdown on members of civil society and other citizens, to immediately release the nearly 900 political prisoners in Belarus, and to hold free and fair elections under international observation. In the last 24 hours, the border guard recorded 125 attempts to illegally cross the Polish-Belarusian border. Decisions on deportation from the territory of Poland were issued against 51 foreigners.